Um, Tabo, uh, we're here for this uh, Toyota Cup competition. Maybe just how big of a deal is Kaiser Chiefs coming to a city like Bloomfontein once again? Yeah, it's a big, it's a big deal, and uh, I think uh, this is a good initiative uh, for Kaiser Chiefs actually to announce this and uh, also to take the game to to Bloomfontein. Uh, you know, supporters of Celtics definitely they are hungry. Of football and uh, coming on that day, the 28th, I believe they will definitely pack the stadium uh, because we'll be playing the first game before the main game. So that will be, uh, you know, a plus for them because legends of Celtics, they will be back again on the stadium. You know, I'm definitely sure that that they will they will, they will be happy to see us playing against Kaiser Chiefs. So uh, coming to the afternoon game, so the stadium will be definitely packed uh, uh, coming uh, on the 28th of uh, July. Mr. Cool, talking about the Bloomfontein and Celtics, <coughs> um, you touched only the little bit earlier on just the disappointment man, of, um, of this club not no longer um, being a big player in, uh, in South African football mm. uh, at, at the higher stage. And you know how your, your wish and desire to see them back in the PSL. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I so wish uh, you know the team can can be back. Uh, like I was saying out there, that I heard the rumors that uh, uh, some team they, they will be relocating to Bloom, and they will definitely change their name to to Bloomfontein Celtics. So I, I don't know how uh, the supporters will feel because I heard also the rumors for uh, they were here and they left. When they left, they never told us, you know. So that might be a, a, a setback for, for, for that team. So, But uh, I so wish that the team can, can be back because, uh, yeah, they deserve, they deserve better, man. And uh, with, the, with the love, uh, the passion that they have, you know, still the same. And I think also when they played against uh, Bafana, Bafana played against him in Bloom. So, so the passion was still there, still singing as, as usual, and still uh, coming with their jersey, uh, Bloom Potential this green and white jerseys. You know, even when I go home, you know, I meet these people and they they they, they want the team back. You know, they also asking how can I help, how can I influence. You know, for the team to be to be back, so I, you know, uh, other things you can you can manage. But uh, I think I, I I have that belief that it will be back. And uh, yeah, the the because I'm also worried with the with the young ones, you know, who stays in Bloomfontein because I grew up going to 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 the game with my father, watching Celtics play against a big net club in 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 Bloomfontein coming to the town. You know, that's how I started loving football, actually. You know, so I think it can be the same to other young young boy or girl, you know, uh, loving the sport and wanting to be part of, of the sport or play the sport. And uh, I think that can uh, add a uh, value to, to, to the young ones. So I wish that the team can be back. I uh, also pray that we get the team back. And just what do you make of this phenomenon of buying and selling of statuses? Um, like you say, uh, this is more there now. Um, also, the club that you love so dearly has also just been so um, hugely affected by it. Yeah, and that thing of selling the status now it becomes a norm. Like we have to be, we have to understand that uh, the teams can can be now the team tomorrow that can be no more. You know. So I think I also wish that there can be certain laws that they can stop that because <clears throat> honestly other teams they, they buy status just for them to be seen, you know, in a in a big league and, and not not adding value or, 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 or because you for you to play in that big league you need to dominate a, a, a lower division there to win promotion to play in a, 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 a PSL. So I, I, I don't see that anymore. That thing doesn't happen anymore. And, and I think it, it, it lets, you know, the, the value of football down and, and the talent of other players, you know, to showcase. Because, uh, yeah, I think everyone now is buying status, which it's killing our, our football, I believe. And, uh, 
there is there's confirmation that Maruma can actually yeah. be playing the, uh, the home games. I'm not sure if you're referring to them when you said other team, but what do you think will be the reception uh, from the Celtic supporters uh, going forward, seeing that they will be playing their home games in the team? Yeah, okay. I was referring to Maruma, yeah. Oh, okay. I've said it now. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I think, but the, 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 the supporters definitely they will be happy to, to have games there. They are very very hungry to to have games, you know. And uh, I I believe even uh, coming to this uh, 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 Toyota Cup, they will definitely come and and add, uh, you know uh, come and support uh, because also the legends of Celtics they will be there. To play, I definitely think they will come and want to see their uh, legends playing. So coming to the afternoon game, the stadium definitely will be packed. Um, just what do you make of what is going on at your current, uh, your former club, uh, Mamelodi Sundowns, currently, just with, with the coaching situation, um, Rulani also just leaving, Coach Steve coming back. Just what do you make of what's going on there right now? Yo, I don't know what's happening there. I just saw Gulani left. Uh, yeah, Coach Steve is back. Yeah, mm -hmm. so there's lots of changes, and uh, I don't, I don't know actually what's what's happening. But obviously, you can see Sundowns they are definitely want to to win Champions League. So Coach Gulani didn't win Champions League, and uh, I think the aim is that they, he, he needs to win Champions League, and the standard that they put it's it's, it's, uh, it's uh, Sundowns. Is, is high, so anyone who's, who's coming there needs to maintain that or be better. But results is one thing at the club like Sundowns, but also harmony. So perhaps, you know, relationships, egos between players, between technical staff, mm -hmm. between management. Was it a difficult uh, situation even when you were there? Because you guys were full of stars and a lot of players. Um, and even Coach Pizzo has alluded to in the past that it was a very difficult environment to navigate. Mm. So how, how challenging was that to be in that environment, even though you guys were winning? Yeah, I think uh, each and every player who comes there, he knows that he needs to deliver. And especially when he gets an opportunity to play. Because uh, the guys who are outside definitely can play for any team uh, locally. Uh, so Sundowns, they definitely buy quality players all around, you know, uh, and it can be so not easy for the technical team or the coach to select who to play on that day. But I think this past season, Coach Gulani did very well by rotating uh, uh, players, you know, because Sundowns in a season, they play a lot of games, uh, even Champions League locally, the, the Cups in between as well. Uh, so I think how they manage them is very, very important also. Their uh, physical trainer is doing a very, very good job on that. Uh, but uh, it's, it's not an easy team to play for uh, because you need to deliver. You don't need to, to sleep when you're part of Mamelo Di And the coaching, how's it going? Coaching, for me? <laughs> yeah, it's going well. Uh, the, the learning's taking place. Uh, I'm surrounded by good coaches. Uh, coach uh, Sandra Gavenda, uh, which is my head coach. Uh, now we've just uh, Coach Sly Mosala just joined us. Mm -hmm. I think I'm, I'm definitely going to grab the you know the experience that they've gained uh, while I mean they've spent more than maybe 20, 24 years in this coaching. So, but yeah, I'm still doing my patches.